We are absolutely honored to host this event today. So we are grateful to the Sterling Foundation for inviting us to be part of bringing this distinguished group uh, to Utah and to Sutherland. And it's quite a historic event because this is the first time that religious leaders and government officials responsible for religious affairs from Azerbaijan have come to our wonderful state of Utah. And um, as you will see, the group that we have here today uh, will be sharing some things that uh, are of uh, great importance with respect to religious liberty and tolerance. Um, I was fortunate to live in Azerbaijan 20 years ago and quickly fell in love with the people there and with the culture. It's a great pleasure to be back uh, in Utah and with the distinguished delegation from Azerbaijan, and as, as, as said, mentioned earlier, it's the first time that we're bringing this kind of delegation to, from Azerbaijan to Utah to share the experiences of how different religions in Azerbaijan interact and uh, uh, exchange the, their, um, uh, their lives together in Azerbaijan. Before the Soviet invasion, Azerbaijan was the, the Muslim world's very first secular democracy in 1918 the first republic of Azerbaijan, the first secular democracy, and the first one to give voting rights to women in 1919, actually a year before the United States. Today, we're very proud of this diversity in Azerbaijan, this interfaith harmony and understanding in Azerbaijan. In Azerbaijani case, it's beyond tolerance, it's above tolerance. It's about accepting each other, respecting each other's faith and traditions. And we have here great representatives of three major religions, Islam, Christianity, and Judaism, who came here to share their experience uh, with you. Azerbaijan is one of the rare countries um, in the world that have elevated multiculturalism to its state policy and also promotes this all over the world. Azerbaijan and uh, the government and the state of Azerbaijan, specifically the head of the state, the president, ensures the freedom of expression, freedom of religion, uh, and supports all of the religious affiliations and association financially and, and morally. In our Azerbaijan, uh, this tradition that, that has been established specifically due to this diverse context uh, and environment. Before we were Muslims, they, we had Christianity in our territory and also Zoroastrianism. I believe that this relationship between our people and the nation of Azerbaijan, this tolerance and this multiculturalism ideas are very important for us. Today, we are very close to the conflicting areas. For example, Syria is one of them, Iraq, Afghanistan. If we look at this from an extremism or radicalism perspective, of course there are potential security threats. In the fight against ter terrorism, extremism, radicalism, we have good allies. And this, one of these allies is, is the United States of America. In the 90s when we regained our independence, uh, religious extremism and uh, radicalism was a, a, a major threat and uh, we fought this in the following way. First of all, raising the, of the awareness, educating people and also in terms of the legal perspective, our legal basis and legislation in general has been up amended to include uh, specific provisions. To reflect the life of a Jewish person in Azerbaijan, I think there's no better example than myself. My ancestors, uh, from the mother's uh, line, uh, they were escaping and fleeing uh, of pogroms in the century, in the 20th century, from Ukraine. Uh, but from the father's side, their, their ancestors were escaping Hitler when he attacked region. Our main goal and objective is to ensure that all Muslim followers, regardless of their belonging to a school of jurisprudence, whether Shia or Sunni, they can practice their religion easily. Heydar Mosque in, in Baku. In this mosque, so one week when there's a Friday congregational prayer, the uh, Shia Imam goes and leads the prayer. And then the next week, the next Friday, for the next congregation pay, prayer, the Sunni uh, Imam leads a prayer. But those people who follow the Friday prayer, they are, they are a mixed group of both Sunni and Shias. It was said earlier, the Christianity in Azerbaijan dates back to 2,000 years. 
After Azerbaijan has regained its independence, uh, nationwide leader of Azerbaijan, Haydar Aliyev, when he came to power, one of the key strategic direction for the domestic policy of our country was uh, specifically to develop the inter-religious uh, uh, dialogue. The Baku Eparchy of the Orthodox Church uh, uh, holds an important place in the modern life of, of Azerbaijan and benefits from all of these rights uh, and freedoms that are declared and enshrined in the Constitution of the Republic of Azerbaijan.